Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do some routing out of this Less We Forget plaque. I'm doing this for a friend of mine. We're going to put it onto just standard pine. This is stuff you can purchase from your DIY store. So nothing too fantastic. It's a nice A4 size, so literally 8.5 inch by 12 inch mine is. So as always, get your template stick that down with a bit of tape at the top place your carbon paper underneath and literally just draw around it pencil pen i've been known to draw around these with a screwdriver once that's done obviously you've got it all transferred nicely onto there this is the best way that works for me you could stick that paper template straight onto there and try and route over the top i personally wouldn't recommend it right so that's all out nicely Take a couple of seconds just to shade in the area that we're going to remove. Because you'll get so engrossed with this, and then you'll go away for something, come back, and you'll start routing out the letters, but the letters want to stay. It's a background we're removing. So we're going to shade all the background and all the areas, just so he stands up a little bit more. Same as the wording, and the same as the poppy. Okay, as always for me, these little CNC router bits, you'll get these on eBay or Amazon. Just put on CNC router bits, they'll all pop up. They come in different degrees, 10, 15s, 20s, 30s. And that basically is the shape of the pin on the end. However, they have a small shaft on them, a 3.175mm, same as a Dremel. So you will require a collet, and that's just a little tube like that with slits in the side. That makes it quarter of an inch and that now fits into your router if it's a quarter inch router there is half inch ones and no doubt there's different sizes as well okay so that's all goes in there that fastens into the router we'll set our depth to what we need there is depth gauges you can purchase to set your router a bit i personally i just have a scrap piece of wood like this and i mark off a depth that suits me and I'll just set it to that. And what we're going to do with our CNC bit is literally draw around all these pencil lines to the depth that we require. So we're going to go around all this, all the lettering. And then we'll change the bit, something a bit bigger. And we'll start removing all the shaded out areas. Okay, let's pop this router, excuse me, this CNC bit in the router. And we'll start routing this one out. Okay, you can see from that we've gone all the way around, all the way around the lettering. I've removed the bits that are going to be a little bit tight to get in with the next piece, the next bit we're going to put on, like the trigger release and stuff. They're just a little bit delicate then, but we've got around it. Everything is all in order. Just remember when you're doing this line work, because we're removing the background, we want to be on this side of the line. Never route exactly on the line, because by the time you've gone down that side, and look the other side, that's going to be a lot thinner than it should be. If we're removing the lettering, we'll route on the inside of the line. If we're doing the background, we route out on the outside of the line. Just so it comes up to it. Don't actually go on the line itself, because everything's going to look a lot smaller. Okay, the next bit. Normally, I would use these straight Imperial 1.8 bit, this one. That works fantastic. But I ordered these mill end bits by mistake. And these are really nice for, for clear out as well because they remove the back in plus they smooth the background down at the same time. And they come in different sizes. We'll go for a fairly biggish one because we've done the most 
of what we want with the CNC bit. So we'll pop this in the router. It fits the same collet as before. So it's simply a case of removing that one, the CNC bit, and pop it in the mill end bit. And that slides in just the same. We'll set the depth to one of these letters that we've already removed with our router. So we know that we're at the same level. And we're literally going to start removing all this background. So the lettering and the soldier stand up to that depth there. It's quite deep is this one. Deeper than I would normally go, but it's going to look okay when we're finished. So let's pop this one in the router. I'll start removing the background. Right, we've gone all the way around that with our mill end bit. Everything's come out nicely. We've not lost anything. So now it's just a case of a general tidy up. Quick skim over with a mouse. Bit of sanding down. Just a general tidy up. And then we'll put some paint on this. Now normally I would paint all the background black. Sand it all down. And have the lettering showing as wood. However, the person I'm doing it for, they actually want the background leaving clear and they want the lettering and the soldier painting black. So we'll, we'll do that once we've finished our sanding and general tidy up. Okay, that's all nicely cleaned down now. That's as far as I'm prepared to go. Painting wise, like I said before, just a standard little painter's black for all the lettering and the soldier. There is a knot in the middle here, but that doesn't matter because that's all going to get painted over. And there is a little bit of a fill in there. You could fill in with some sawdust or anything, but I think the paint's going to cover that nicely. And then we've got the red for the poppy itself. It's going to be a little delicate process of painting this because we only want to paint the top of the wood, nothing down the sides and obviously nothing on the back. Once it's all painted, we'll put on our linseed oil to darken this wood back down again. You could put it on first if you wanted to, but I like to linseed over the top of the paint at the same time. And then once that's dry, we'll go over with a small varnish spray or some description to finish it off. I'll pop this paint on now. It's a slow process, so there's no need to see it, and we'll come back when this painting's done. Right, that's all the painting done. I would have preferred to done the background and left the lettering, but this is what the chap wanted, so this is what he's going to get. Right, the wood's just a little bit too light for me, so as always for me, linseed oil. I'm literally just going to give a nice coating of this, just to tone this wood down a bit. You'll see as soon as it goes on, just darkens it down enough and just brings that grain out on the wood that's left. More so on the sides and the bottom bit. You'll see it in this. We'll cover all this with linseed oil, let it dry out and then we'll spray a bit of varnish over the top and this project will be finished. So I'll continue with this and then come back when we're done. Right then, that's all nicely dried. We've sprayed on our clear sealant, protects and enhances. I've used that all the time, just to give it a little bit of a shine. It's an indoor piece, so we don't have to get too carried away. 
You can see that nice shine on there. And that's it, this little project is finished. So that's eight and a half by 12 inch, routed out, lest we forget plaque on pine. Thank you very much for watching.